Hi ladies, this is uh, my tutorial on how to make waves. My name is Georgia Summers and I work for Art Impressions. I am on the traveling teaching team, so I may have met many of you at, at an expo, either um, in my class teaching or at the demo table demonstrating, uh, which I do for a lot of hours uh, during the day. Also, for those of you who may have come to the warehouse sale, I have, may have met you there. Everybody has been on the um, Art Impressions stamp group, has been uh, asking me to teach this tutorial on making waves. So I thought that's what I would do today so that everybody gets the idea on how to do them. I am um, a California, I will say I am from Northern California. Um, actually the San Francisco Bay Area, which is kind of in the middle. And I'm about an hour and a half from the coast. So um, my friends and I go there a lot of times just to get grounded. Anyway, I love the beach. I love anything beachy. And when I started teaching for art impressions, I thought, well, you know, I need to do something, something beachy in my style. And so this is kind of this has kind of become one of my styles of um, doing watercolor, and I'm still doing it with art impression stamps. And when people look at it a lot, they just really don't realize that we've done some of these things with stamps. And as you practice and get better and better, your watercolor looks more and more um, like a watercolor and not necessarily like it's stamped. So my um, what I always tell everybody, all my students, is practice, practice, practice. And from looking at the stuff on the um, Art art Impression Stamp Group, I've noticed that everybody is getting so good. You guys are just doing such a fabulous job. Anyway, let's get started. So, the first thing I'm going to tell you is what we're using. We're going to be using Foliage Set 4051. We're going to be using this small grass. Then we're going to be using a uh, flower set, 4052. And what we're going to be using here is this little, I think they're the teeny tiny flowers. They kind of look like a little jelly bean, just a bunch of dots. And we're going to be using that one. I will say that I have two of that stamp because I went to the warehouse sale and I was able to pick up two. And I like having one that I only use for my grays for my sand. This is the other one we're going to use, foliage set four. And we're going to be using this grass right here um, it's got like four grasses, and I just absolutely love that one. And then we're going to use the Garden Wagon Mini Set, and we're going to be using this grass right here. I call it beach grass. It looks a lot like beach grass. So that's what we're going to be using today. Now, the colors that we're going to be using, we are going to be using 249, which is Hunter Green Tombow. We're going to be using N75, it's also a Tombow, and Tombow 565, which is deep blue. These are the only colors I will be using today. I'm using a number four connoisseur brush, which is the brush that Bonnie always uses, that you see her using. It's the only brush I have. I have maybe five or six of them, um, but they're all a number four because I just really am lazy and I don't want to, um, I don't want to change out brushes. Of course, you always want to have your water there. Now, the other thing we're going to be using is Molotow. This is an art masking liquid, and this is a pump marker. And I'm using the 2.0, the fine one. And the reason is because I don't need really big, big, thick waves. I just need really um, smaller ones. We also have a 4.0 millimeter, and I use that one a lot when I'm doing, like, um, fences, trellises, and things like that. The other thing we will be using, we will be using Wink of Stella, and the one we use is the clear glitter. And I will also be using my Uniball Signo white pen. And of course, I'm using 140 pound cold pressed paper. Canson XL is my favorite, so that's what I use all the time. And the way I'm going to start, 
is I'm going to start with my uh, teeny tiny grass and I'm just gonna, I wanna set in where the dunes are gonna be. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna stamp one, two, three, four, five. And if those of you who watched the Facebook Live, when you come down like this and then you pull out a little bit, if you watched Bonnie um, on Facebook Live, you saw her do that to give that little hilly um, downward motion. I'm gonna also put one over here. One, two, three, four, five. And then one right here, one, two, three, four, five. This is gonna, this is gonna um, make my little dunes. So one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take my N75, and I want I just want to start um, I want to start getting my my path. This before I do my Molotow, I like to get my my parameters kind of started so that I know exactly where I'm going, so that I don't have the waves too crazy. So I'm using this mini the mini flowers, but I've got it. You'll notice I have it turned upside down because this one I'm gonna use for the path. And so I'm just gonna come in here and I'm going to just stamp five times. And I'm just trying to create a little path. And I'm going to come in here and soften this. So I'm not too worried about how I get it in there right now. I'm gonna soften that up. It's gonna look really nice. I'm gonna put a little more on this side right here. Now, because the Molotow takes a little while to dry and you want it very dry before you go over it, the first thing you have to remember with Molotow is you really wanna shake it up before you use it. Because you want, you want that, that you know what, sometimes it'll separate and you'll get some white. So you wanna make sure that you get it really shaken up and make sure that you pump it so that it's it's liquidy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start like right about here and I'm going to just come along and I'm going to kind of just Add some waves like that. And so you see I've done some squiggly lines and that's gonna dry and it's going to it's going to work as a resist. So what's gonna happen is that when you when you go over the top, when you take this Molotow off, it'll be white. So now what we're gonna do while we're waiting for that to dry is we're just gonna come in here and I'm gonna pull up some of this grass. Just kind of pull some grass up. And I want this to come down hill, so I'm just gonna kind of bring a little shadow down into my path. I'm gonna turn it a little bit so I can work easier. I have to sometimes tell myself and my students that it's okay to turn your paper. We sometimes forget that that's okay to do. So if you're having a hard time, just feel free to move your paper. Hope you guys are all doing real good. I know everybody's in a shelter in place, so I hope everybody's doing well. So we're again, we're just pulling we're just pulling out some color just to give that little kind of downward look. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm going to just kind of soften this area right here as well. Just kind of dabbing over it, bringing that color out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I want to have a horizon line. And I want the horizon line to be not too dark, not too light. So I'm going to take my uh, 249 uh, Hunter Green, and I'm going to put some of this N75 gray, this gray, that neutral gray. And I'm going to mix a little of that on my palette. So I don't have it too dark, but it's not... It's also not too light. And I just want to come right here and I'm just going to bring myself a little bit of a horizon line. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the sky right now so that I can have the sky done and dry when it's time to do the water, and then also the um, beach grass. So what I'm doing here is I'm just, I'm getting this gray and green and I'm getting it into a wash and I'm just kind of dabbing in and putting in my sky. But I now need some more green, I mean some more gray. I have plenty of green, just need some more gray. Okay, the mall towel is dry, so I can mix some of this gray and green. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to start putting in my ocean. I'm just going to, you can see, I'm just coming over, I'm coming over the top of that mall towel. with my grayish green. And you can also see that my horizon line has kind of we'll fix that in a minute. Anything can be, you know, anything can kind of be fixed. So we'll just pull this into the into our cloud our sky. And then what I'll do is I'll go back and as it dries, I'll fix that little horizon line. I'm going to take some of this hunter green. I want it a little darker, and I'm going to come I'm going to come under Get a little bit of this and we're going to come under the waves. Under where the Molotow is. And the reason we're doing that is because we want to have... Um, there's If you look at a wave, where the wave is breaking, there's going to be a shadow underneath. Okay, so I'm going to come back and kind of put in that horizon line now. Just like that. Play with that little green and get that nice 
Okay, it's almost ready. We'll give it a minute. While we're waiting, we can take this little grass, one that has like four little, four little uh, grasses, and we're just gonna come over here and we're just gonna kind of put those in on these front ones. They're not gonna have the beach grass, so we're just gonna kind of put those there. I just love playing with these grass. I love those little grasses because they're just, you know, they're just so dainty and you don't have to, you don't have to do anything with them. We're almost to the point where we can do our grass, do our waves. So when we go to do our waves, to take the Molotel off, I just literally take my finger and rub it off. You can also use like a like one of those gum erasers that'll take it off as well. But you see how I now have this really nice pure white kind of color. So I don't want it to look like it's just pure white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Wink of Stella and I'm going to come along the edges to start off with. Because Wink of Stella is water-based, it will move that color at the top. And I'm just going to put in some of this white as well. I'll just make it make that Wink of Stella go everywhere. But by coming along the top of the wave, it kind of muddies it up a little and makes it not so pristine. I'm gonna take a little bit of that gray. Let's see. And come just right along here with that gray because this is where the the beach is and the waves are breaking on the beach. So I'm going to add a little shadow of gray there. So it still looks like looks like the waves are breaking. Get that nice little foamy color. So you can see how the waves look really good. I love I love making the waves with the Molotow. Molotow is my friend. Molotow will be your friend. So now I'm going to take the beach grass. And I'm going to use the 249 Hunter Green. One, two, three, four, five. Notice how I kind of curve it as I'm doing it. Five. And I'm also going to come here and do some more of those beach grasses. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And you can see that you're just moving them kind of in a rainbow direction. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use this gray, the N25. And I've got a little green probably still on my stamp. I'm going to make sure that I... Get this back to the gray color. But I'm going to come over here and go one, two, three, four, five. So I get some a little bit of, of like a lighter color that looks like it's kind of fading. So it gives you some dimension. And then I'm going to use the I'm going to use the blue, the deep blue. I'm getting the color that's kind of on my, still on my uh, other flower. So this is the same flower that I used. It's a teeny tiny flower um, from that first foliage, uh, first flower set that I used for the path, but notice I'm using it in the normal direction. And I'm using one that's already stained um, for the flowers. And I'm just going to do just like maybe two little rows I'm just going to come in and add these to my to my grass. I'm going to add it to this grass as well. And then of 
course, we're just going to dab them. And because these are tiny, rather than dabbing them with um, water, I'm just going to use my Wink of Stella because I want it to have a little bit of pizzazz. So I'm going to just use my Wink of Stella and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to dab my little flowers, give them some little sparkle. And so there it is. Basically, that is making waves. Now, when I when I uh, go to cut this, I'll probably cut it in a rectangle uh, using our rectangle die cut. And then um, I will back it, as you can see, I will back it with a darker, like a darker hunter green. This paper, this wood paper came from Simple Stories. And they've got a whole lot of that wood type paper. They've got some white that's that's birch and stuff. It's really absolutely beautiful. So check out Simple Stories if you want to use a wooden uh, looking paper, wood paper in the back. These are just um, sea glass. And you can actually get sea glass and teeny tiny seashells if you don't have an ocean close to you. You can actually get those... Um, on the internet, just type in sea glass and just type in teeny tiny seashells and that will get you what you need. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to sign and date. And ladies, there you have it, making waves. Now you, I expect to see all sorts of really neat, um, really neat cards on the Art Impression Stamp Group site, and I'll know that you guys are all practicing and having a lot of fun. So that's it for today. I will be putting more videos on YouTube as we go along, so if there's something that you really, really want that I've done that you see, um, let me know. Thanks.